need to de-stress. I have an idea for something fun. Fun? What exactly does an MI6 agent think is fun? You don't know? Well then, this will be educational. Educational, huh? You know me so well. to experience the life of a secret service agent. A VIP is in town and it's our responsibility to see she safely arrives at all three stops on her route. Along the way, we'll encounter scenarios typical of a VIP escort job. It's off the light bulb later. So, are you ready to put your life on the line to protect another? Asha, I'm pretty much a superhero. I'm set for whatever you can throw at me. You'll find Matt has disabled your special abilities for the duration of this exercise, but don't worry. You'll get them back once the exercise is complete. Yeah, I was hoping I'd meet you. No timeouts, coward. Self-preparing. Tough fight. If Tarleton has an army of these things at his control, then he could be in trouble. All right, this is bugging me. I know that woman. Who is she? Are you serious? That's Tammy Tolliver, the reporter from Genki Bowl. Couldn't find any diplomats in town or something? A security work is a cereal box. You don't get to pick your prize. Hey, see that guy over there? Tell me. Is he a threat? I don't know. It's your job to know. You have to decide right now. Take him out and possibly kill an innocent human being, or let him go and potentially put your VIP in mortal danger. job. Security might just be your plan B. All right, back in the car. Intel reports high threat probability at our next stop, so we should be prepared for anything. Right, absolutely. Potential threats all over the place. Cover the VIP as I escort her into the building. Shoot stuff. You're easily bored, aren't you? Oh no. I'm usually too busy being awesome to be bored. Anyone want to I do love a chase. Just you and me. Time to 
time's wasting. Gotta unlock the door. Picking locks was so much less of a hassle. We're coming out now. Everything clear? Blue skies and hummingbirds. Come on out. Snipers! Shit! You said we were clear! I thought we were! This is my town. Why exactly would people be targeting Tammy Tolliver? She's still someone's prized cat toy or something? We don't know. You might be surprised to learn how little information agents are actually given. Usually just a name and an objective. And what's your motivation for doing it? Queen and country, the greater good, duty and honor. And one too many action movies as a kid? Oh, no such thing. to the car! Now we're leaving! <laughs> that terrace leads to the inhuman holding cells. Are we enjoying ourselves, then? You sure know how to show a girl a good time. But we need to get Tammy somewhere safe. We're almost done. Just one more stop. You don't have to prove anything to me. Keep sharp. We may have a situation. Oh, shit! This part of your plan? Uh, uh yeah. Let's say it is. I'll guard the VIP you get to cover. Was it too much for you? Tiny dancer. Doesn't have as much bite as Black Widow, does it? Took you long enough to figure it out. I thought you were the brains behind this operation. I am. It's nice to be appreciated. So if you're running the show, what's the end game? I may have worked with Taskmaster, but I'm not stupid enough to fill in the blanks for you, Romanoff. Almost beats down. Wow, you are really going all out with this. Matt, feel free to dial things down a bit. Matt? Matt! Oh, is he not answering? Shame. I must have accidentally cut him off. Zinyak, you fucking... Ugh. 
always with the vulgarity. Anywho, have some fun with these <laughs> minor changes I made. Okay, let me take a step. You and George are using inhumans for your death. That regenerative formula keeps them alive just long enough for you to harvest their powers. That's part of it. But I have grander aspirations. Replacing the Avengers. Not everything's about you. Hold on! I'm calling in a rescue vehicle! You can do that without Matt? I wouldn't put us in harm's way without some backup protocol, you know. Right, sit tight. Car should be here shortly. I'm out of ammo! Cover me while I get some more! Get! They're just another target. They're all just targets. Should I be concerned with how detached you are about all this? <sighs> I've been through this scenario dozens of times. Emotional disconnection is the true weapon of the soldier. View everything from the eyes of God. Wow. Way to balance inspirational speech and totally creepy cult leader, Asha. Shut it off. Girl, Monica. So close. Well, well, well. You finally managed not to fuck the whole thing up. I suppose I should congratulate you before I put a bullet in your head. Stop the chit chat. Let's get to the us kicking your ass. Everything I've done has been for the future of humankind. 
Your prisoners are human too, Mark. How do you think you're being valued here? Really, I get that. You're an A1 superhero, Asha. But what's done is done. You can't stop this. You never could. You fail, it's what you do. That's why you got that shit assignment babysitting your gang of thugs as they hunted down Cyrus. Remember that meeting with your superiors? When they almost stripped you of your rank? Collateral damage is inevitable. You should know this better than most. I've heard that argument before. Always ends with people dying. It does not everything with you. What's that supposed to mean? I haven't forgotten A-Day. Neither have I. The Avengers have done enough damage. Cost enough lives. The world saw that on A-Day. We don't need you anymore. As long as you're keeping people in cages, I'm not going anywhere. Shut up. That good. Do now. Evil me was kind of an asshole. Good you is kind of an asshole. Blame my parents. Daddy issues. Nah, just <laughs> forget it. Oh, don't like talking about your past. Don't see the point. Who cares what I did before I joined the Saints? Aren't you going to ask me about mine? I thought we were killing evil clones, not picking out place settings. <laughs> yeah, you should probably get out of here. Once more for old time's sake? Yeah, why not? Where did 
did you move the Inhumans? Wouldn't you like to know? Oh, damn it. You won't get off that easy. I've got a special guest here. Binder. She's coming with us. Have you seen a teenage girl? Brown hair about yay high? You don't respect me. No, that's... that's true. What do you want? I'm looking for rough sex and Kinsey scares the shit out of me. <sighs> I stay on top and you don't get to talk. Deal. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, in the, in the cells. Uh, she wouldn't come with us, though. Just go. Kamala! Black Widow? What, what are you doing? Come on. Let's get out of here. Uh... I'm, I'm going home. Uh, to, to Jersey, um... Care to elaborate? I've devised a training simulation wherein a highly trained vigilante has requested our assistance in clearing the city of a long-standing menace. Details, Matt. I need details. I promise you that it's the finest simulation I have ever crafted. The world's greatest vigilante needs our help in drawing out his arch nemesis. To do so, we must confront the foul captain's army of minions, draw out his lieutenants, until the terrible menace reveals himself. Then, we must take him on in an earth-shattering final conflict. I don't know who I was kidding. I'm no hero. I don't know, I got a quinjet full of people who would disagree with you. I couldn't control it. I... I keep passing out. I... I blew it. Hey... Mistakes are gonna happen. To be honest... Jersey wasn't my finest hour either. I don't think zombies are exactly relevant to fighting Zinyak. So whose army is this really? His true nature is known only to a secret cabal of followers. Uh, well... Uh, Matt, have you seriously pulled me into some Nightblade fan fiction? Uh, please! I'm not one of those forum-stalking hacks who spit out poorly constructed, badly edited wish fulfillment brimming with cannon-breaking Mary Sues and... So you do go trolling for that kind of thing? Of course I've read it! You've been working on this simulation for a while, haven't you? Oh, I wrote the original short story between seasons two and three, when it seemed Nightblade may be retiring. So he set about finding the one person who could take his place. Oh, Matt. Sweet, silly Matt. Tiny Dancer. Look, kid. You're already a hero. The only one left to convince is yourself. Come on. Let's get the hell out of here. And you must be the protege I've heard so much about. Yep, that's me, all right. The Cardinal is on the move, but I have good intelligence regarding his final destination. I'll lead you to him. Stay close, but not too much. We don't want to give my nemesis too easy a target. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I must have... Mm. 
It's okay. Uh, why don't you, uh, why don't you get inside? Tiny dancer. It's good to see you too, Bruce. So, what do you think? You have to be having some fun. You think so, huh? At least a little bit? I'll give you the zombies, but don't push it. Oh, I knew you were having a good time! So you really built this simulation for Asha? Originally, yes. I wonder why she would reject such a masterpiece. Asha doesn't appreciate the rich fiction of the Nightblade universe. She called it paranormal bromance. Bummer. Thanks again. For... Well, everything. You've helped me more than you know, Kamala. Hey, you've been hanging out with Bruce for a while now. You think he's up for this little chit-chat with Monica? He's a little freaked out, but I've got faith in him. All the same, I think I'll give him a little pep talk. Yeah, good idea. That would totally work on me. My brave hero, whilst thou speak with me? Agent Romanoff. How are they doing? Recovering. They've been through a lot. Thank you for finding them. Let me know if you need anything. Swords up, brothers! The Cyprian Order is on our tail! Blindsided while we look for the bad guy? Not bad, man. Good escalation of conflict. Uh, thank you. So what's the Cyprian Order? Not exactly a Nightblade fan. The Cyprian Order are a sect of brave soldiers, waging a clandestine war against the creatures of the night. Franklin Knight was a member of the Order until he succumbed to the Dark Embrace and was turned into one such creature, a vampire. Okay, so the Cyprian Order hunts Nightblade even though he used to be with them? That's right. Greetings from the Anthill. Natasha, thanks for helping save the day back at Ames Prison and for everything you did as Tiny Dancer. I wonder who our mysterious guardian angel was. Anytime, Hank. Sometimes dirty hands do the best work. True. And how the hell did you folks get the Chimera online, let alone airborne, without Terrigen? The Chimera has the same standard engines as older helicarriers. She's kind of like a hybrid car. But, you know, cool. But Nightblade still fights vampires, right? Plus the Cyprian Order? Correct! That sounds... better than expected. It's a dramatic work that's exemplar of the form. Is this how you've been using your time since I freed you? Matt, I've been thinking. We could all be dead soon, so... Shit, I can't believe I'm saying this. You don't have to die a virgin. Can you call me Nightblade? Are you fucking serious? You still want to have a go? Ugh, what the hell. Something tells me this isn't just a thank you call, Doctor. Guilty as charged. We did a little digging in the data you sent me from the prison. AIM was able to successfully transport most of the Inhumans. I've tracked the ship, but we'll need someone to go in after it. We'll do whatever we can. Thanks. I've already uploaded some mission details to your war table. Pam out. Miss Romanoff, welcome back to the Chimera. I can't believe you're not here. We could really use you right now, Cap. It's based on a training simulation that Asha rejected. And how many of these did she ask you to build? I don't know, a dozen? Isn't that overkill? She likes to keep her skills honed. It's called So, Nightblade. What more is there? A girlfriend, a love interest... Oh! Oh! Oh my god, yes! Oh, this should be interesting. These two haven't spoken since the hearings. Think Bruce is up to it? He better be. Once we break up Tarleton's little party, he'll clean house. The AIM experience. So many better names. Look, we need the location of that lab. Hundreds of Inhumans depend on it. 
So tiny dancer, huh? Let me guess, you would have gone with Rocket Man. Please, not even close. You're my candle in the wind. Show's about to start. Franklin Knight had a wife, Sylvia, who was killed by a vampire. It was this tragic moment that started him on his path as a hunter. A loner, a rebel. And no matter how many bloodsuckers he kills, he'll never again find love. Until he met Marion, who desperately wanted to be Nightblade's bride. But he was forced to walk away, stating, After losing Sylvia, I can never love again. Yeah, that's a pretty good line. One of the finest ever written. Too damn. Let me guess. You're planning a big reveal at the Adaptoid launch. The triumphant return of the Avengers. Imprisonment and torture. That's how AIM's gonna make the world a better place. Why are we here? Excuse me, Nightblade! I thought we had to lure the Cardinal out first. I enjoyed your story well enough. Zinyak, that's not good. But I thought your ending could use a little work. What are you doing to my story? Matt, don't go near him. I will not! I won't have some effete alien dictator stomping all over my expanded universe fiction! Don't go near him, Matt. Matt Miller, I thought you were my ally. But I am! Please. Ebola, smallpox, polio, all fatal, if not for the lab rats. And humans aren't sick, Monica. You're just harvesting their powers to make your little robots. <sighs> robots that possess complex AI. Capable of assessing the most effective application of their powers, all with minimal human casualty. Now, I find you're actually a pawn! Of the Cardinal! No, Nightblade, I would never! Miller! Oh, this is already so much better. This is terrible! Focus on the mission. We could have been such close friends, Matt, but you stabbed me through the heart. And metaphorically, we are going to get Zinyak for this. Sure, for this. It's not like we had any other reasons for wanting Zinyak's head on the spike. You're not taking this seriously! I'd just rather not get killed over this, Matt. Where's the lab, Monica? You can reverse engineer Terrigen, sure, but it'll be catastrophic and you know it. You were there on A-Day, and you know if we do it again, it's not gonna just endanger in humans, it's gonna endanger all of us. Last I checked, A-Day was your mess. <laughs> Gonna need a stronger table. I see some things haven't changed. I don't want to fight! The immortal embrace empowers me! I can't take this anymore! Still the best. Everything's just an experiment with you, isn't it? Human! Forgive me, Franklin Knight! It's done. 
Nightblade has fallen. Sorry it had to go this way. <laughs> Typical writer. Can't stand honest critique. While my version of this story had Nightblade triumphant over the friend who betrayed him, a far more compelling take on the narrative, I believe, I suppose you'll have this your way, then. Let's get out of here. I can't stand the way this has turned out. Me. Scour the Earth. You will not find our lab. The Adaptoids will launch, Bruce. Saving the world requires sacrifice! We're not finished. We're not? We're not done till you get your powers. Powers? Powers? How would I... You mean from Nightblade? The war goes on, man. The creatures of the night must be defeated. And you're just the person to take over for Franklin Knight. So... you do understand. Hey, if it makes any difference... Yes? As Planet Earth's sole surviving world leader, this must be within my power, so... I'm going in. We need to find that lab. Jarvis? Sensors detect aim forces incoming. Tarleton's come for his sidekick. Nat, Quinjet. You read my mind. Stay with me. All right. Hey, uh, just watch yourself out there. I will if you will. I hereby assign you all rights, titles, licenses, and possible merchandise rights to the Nightblade property. You what? I do have one condition, though. Of course. Never stop. Hope Your right face needs rearranging. <laughs> 